Hi, it's me, Enoch. Yes, I am now officially Enoch. So, Tree is still acceptable. Tree is still my professional name, but I'm now Enoch. Or Sparrow, if you're feeling familiar. So, I've been having a lot of problems through November and December, which is why I haven't managed to edit any of the video footage I have. Um, I had a... I had a face plant at the doctor's because everything went wrong in the exact same time and I had like two weeks where doing anything was really hard because I was in pain. They've been messing with my spicy sads, meds, and dosage. Um, and I'm having like single effective issues and just not having a great time of things. So. This is the intro, outro, Enoch doing the, this is why there's like a month and a half of footage and none of it is connected. It's just been rough y'all. And then with like the neighborhood pandemonium just continuing and new varietals coming out all the time, it's rough. Um... Also, my hair is being silly. So, yes. Uh, I don't even remember what I've recorded. I know I have, like, two art box, art snacks, um, art snackies unboxings that I never have done demos for, even. I don't think I've even gotten the materials put up. Well, yes, yes, I've gotten the materials put up. Um, additionally, yesterday, uh, for the first time in, like, almost exactly two years we had our friends come over so we could do like a planning session a study session for a new D&D &D campaign so I am in addition to everything else I am currently people hangovering which is fun what else I feel like there are things I should talk about I, I got by by buns like sticker advent calendar um which I can re I mean she's doing a reveal on them a series of reveal of videos I think being Enoch is the 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 biggest and scariest and most surprising so Let there be light. Hi, it's me, Tree. My hair is aggressively a floof, so nothing new there. Um, it is November 1st. No, that is wrong. It's November 2nd. Yesterday was November 1st. So, you know, so we made it through gay Christmas, though we did... No and I did absolutely nothing for it, um, because we were super broke this year, um, because doctor's bills. My brain stopped, sorry. Um, but we did run a virtual write-in for NaNoWriMo, because it started November 1st at midnight, um, because we are both our region's MLs. So, we did that. That was what we did. I mean, we did watch a bunch of scary movies, like, all month, so we, we were kind of spoopified. Yeah. Um, I did get a package in the mail yesterday um, from a pre-order. Uh, I can't talk. I'm tired. Um, I received... A pre-order that I had done yesterday from Noble Demons and they are the tiny little friends of Crokey and all his, his mischief glory and kind of a banana mushroom so you know snoots that go with my other snoots because I love snoots. 
not even all my snoots. I have more snoots. I have big snoots too. But yes, they came. They are soft. Crookie keeps trying to escape from me. <laughs> so, you know, about right. So, it's doing good. I love them. They have little um, zippers in their butts. I, it is the most inappropriately placed zipper, I have to say. Um, if I ever want to change out their polyfill or something. I don't know. It's the most inappropriately placed zipper. It really is. I kind of love it. But they're nice and they're soft. They're minky fabric, so they're they're low pile and soft. I wanted to get one of the giant ones, and I may at some point if uh, when I have money again. Uh, Noble still has them, but I'm gonna have to get it sent to me unstuffed, and have to stuff it myself, and it requires like. A big old box of polyfill to fill him which is kind of funny not that I don't have big old boxes of polyfill that was it that I'm just very excited about them I should probably do a video that's my um my peach tober and tentacle tober roundups you know sitting like talk about things I made and the choices I made. Boy howdy, that's that's a thought. Other things. Uh, I am completely pantsing this year's Nano, which is which is a thing. I couldn't just I couldn't think of what to do. So I decided to do another one of my short stories series novels, things, anthologies. No. Collection of short stories, because it's not really an anthology, because anthologies are things that are collected from other works and then put into a... You don't care about this, do you? Um, but yeah, doing a short story collection, again, um, that are is like, I'm calling it uh, The Faceless God and Other Tales of a Glittering Venery. So it's in that universe. But uh, the first part of it that I'm working on is kind of the genesis of the world I built. So it's, I, I got some Cimmerillion feels going on. So there's that. I, it's also making me have to think about how the, the underpinnings of the world are structured. Which is a very weird thought. I also started a new low-key series uh, that I'm calling Lightning Fields that is are it's lightning and clouds and sky that's what I'm doing that that may be interesting I also need to do the demo for my art snacks box which I had canceled it but I guess my cancellation was too close to when they mailed it, but they hadn't charged me when they mailed it. So I have no idea if I'm suddenly going to get like a $45 charge for something that I canceled that they sent me, which is not their fault. It is not my fault. It's nobody's fault. Um, and I accept that I may be charged for it. But it was a really good month, too, so we just, medical bills are getting the better of us right now, because America, and we're still not sure if we have to pay, okay, I think I mentioned in last month's, last time's vlog, because, like, it was October's vlog, even though I'm trying to do them more often, that I'm seeing a behavioralist now. Um, but there's no indication whether or not we have to pay anything for me to see her. The insurance hasn't said 
the doctor's billing department hasn't said so we're it is a mystery and we do not know if it has a bit with the dog and it doesn't help that I'm not overly thrilled with my with the behavioral list I mean she's fine she's nice I just I don't think I'm not sure that this is the right kind of therapy for me I don't know if that makes sense she keeps wanting to put like like twee little labels on me and it's like I'm a twee punk I, I, I am I'm all for the twee um, but these are things like, oh, well, you're a teacher. And it's like, no, I share information. Or, because there was a lot of shenanigans around my mother's pregnancy with me and my birth. That I was a miracle child. It's like, no, it was determination, a lot of carefulness, and science that ensured that, you know, I came into the world. Not that I'm sure that the world really should have me in it. That is a different thought. But yeah, there was a, a lot of work to ensure that that I came to fruition. And it's just calling I feel like calling me a miracle child undermines all the all the work that was put in. That it was just like I was left under a cabbage leaf or something. I don't know. It just bothers me. I'm, I need to go do some work instead of, you know, sitting here and being grumpy at the camera. Um, so I will probably see you in a while doing other things. Okay, bye. Hello, it's me, Tree. Uh, my hair is a floof, and I have an Art Snacks unboxing for you. Art Snacks unboxing. I also have a stack of watercolor palettes sitting to my right because I have a wet piece sitting right under you right now. So, lots of things. Let us crack into this thing. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. The box feels full. Alright. Uh, ooh. Ooh. So, I remember our snacks uh, sending out an email saying that things were very watercolor oriented this month, which, cool, cool, cool. Um, and the str first thing is the strata, which is a big old thing of Windsor News Windsor and Newton watercolor paper which I've never used their watercolor paper before I have some of their watercolors because of a long story um, but this is 300 GSMN it's 140 which is 140 pounds which is a chonky boy and it's it's got a lovely texture so I am excited for that he let's move the box move the box it is the bag We have our manuals. Snack. Snack is a mystery airhead flavor. I do enjoy airheads. Ooh, 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 I'm excited. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, sorry, I'm being excited. <laughs> Come out of the bag! 
Um, so first thing, the first, is that we have a Dr. P.H. Martin's, oh, can I do it? Um, concentrated water, I can't speak today, watercolor in Calypso Green. I have never, I was going to say I've never used, uh, P.H. Martin ink before. I think that is correct. I have wanted to, so yay. Next, we have Karen, Karen Dash Acrel Neo Colors, which um, several of the watercolor artists I follow on the YouTubes uh, really love them, so yay, something new to try. Something to get myself into trouble with. Um, time to crack in to the the green tissue paper. Do I have the patience to try and get it off without ripping it? Nope. Does not happen today. That's fine. Cannot be every month. Do, 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 do. Whoa! Said things the wrong way. <laughs> oh, the sticker's super cute. Look at that sticker. And we have some of the the Faber Castell gelatos, which I have some of these, and I. Got it. <laughs> I have some of these and I, I like them, so I am all for more. And we have this very fancy Derwent water pen, which is cool because I, I like water pens. This is a very interesting box. I'm very excited about it. Um, menus. So the the actual menu of items is the Windsor Newton watercolor uh, paper pad, crafted in Italy. It's cold pressed, which is why the light, uh, why the texture is so good. I guess because of the texture of it, it reflect it reflects the light well. So your watercolors are paint are. Watercolor paintings are brighter. Uh, the Karen Dash Neo Colors, they are water soluble, ha are light fast, excellently light fast, can be used in a variety of techniques and combine wet and dry applications. The Derwent Push Button Water Brush, um, it's a three millimeter medium tip. It's a water brush. I mean, we'll see if we if I like it better than my, the ones that I have a tendency to use. Uh, the Faber Castell Gelatos, their pigment sticks, they're creamy and smooth and night fast. They, they do like, really just like glide onto paper, which is fun. Can use with or without water. The Dr. P.H. Martin's, um, what, uh, what concentrated watercolor. It's transparent, it's dye based, and can be used from the bottle or diluted with water. Fantastic. I am very excited by the thing. I was kind of surprised because I canceled my art snacks order, but they sent this to me before they charged me because it, it's October 30th. I expect I'm getting going to end up charged, but that's okay because this is cool. So I'm going to do a demo probably tomorrow, maybe on the 1st. I'm a little behind on my Peachtober because... I had a very long day yesterday and just did not get started doing my work until late in the day. So I'm playing a little catch up. I also have NaNoWriMo ML duties to perform. See you in the demo. Hi, it's me, Tree. It is November 10th, so it's been a while since I've talked to the camera. 
don't mind the earmuffs. Um, it is National Novel Writing Month, which means I am MLing for my region. I'm co-ML. And I'm sitting in my, sitting in my lamp, <laughs> sun lamp, because it, it's, it's dark real early and thing. Part of the reason why I haven't talk to the camera not that like I need a reason but why is um I had an accident when I was at the doctor's last week and face planted real hard and have been in a lot of pain and generally angry with the entire universe about it so we're doing good I mean I, I am getting better it just it hurts and it's kind of swelly and it's very prettily bruised. I mean, it's like violet and navy. It is purdy. Um, right now I am running a write-in for my, my region. So, this is her. You're, you're actually sitting on my laptop right now. I don't, I don't know what, that there's a lot to talk about other than I have been nanoing with varying levels of uh, competency, mostly because I really should have taken this year off and I didn't. Because I don't want to leave my region bereft of MLs. I mean, I, I have been doing some arting too. My DM has emerged from the darkness and was like, hey, does anybody want to like do a new campaign? Which I think we're going to get back to our previous campaign, but at some point, but this is just like, like stretching. It's all back into the thing. So I have created, and they're called Her Heronons, Hener Her and Rons, Heron, Heron Rons, uh, which are bunny people, rabbit folk, um, whose use name is Glitch because Faye. Um, and they have a little companion because they are from the Witchlight Circus, um, who is an ir giant iridescent cockroach named Visionary Destroyer, which for those of you who have been here for the duration, y'all know I love Vast and I'm so mad that Geek and Sundry doesn't have it where you can watch all of it because it was so good and one of my favorite characters was a 13 foot giant homicidal space cockroach named Visionary Destroyer, who was played by uh, Max Isaacson, who is a director. Visionary Destroyer was a trans narrative and was just magnificent. So yes, I have, my character has a companion who is a giant iridescent cockroach, who wields a little, because Glitch is a swarm keeper, which is a type of ranger that, like, has a swarm of, like, Fey creatures, except they look, can look like whatever. Mine look like beetles, but Visionary Destroyer, for flavor, wields a tiny little sword when directing the swarm. Tiny little sword. So, I think this is adorable. I've drawn uh, preliminary art of Glitch and Viz, and I'm very pleased. They are in their, their circus best. And it, they, they look like one of those, like, little Korean Korean rabbits that don't even look real. But they have, like, little black eye patches. So they have little nubby ears and stuff. But they're kind of lavendery because they've dyed their fur lavendery. So. I like them a lot. Alright, I I need to go do some writing. So I'll catch y'all later. Bye. Hi, it's me, Tree, uh, do, 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 thing. Why can't I ever just do this, like, the first time and not have to, like, at you? Hi, it's me, Tree. I got a thing in the post yesterday that I had pre-ordered, um, and wanted to show you. It's a cicada! It's a plushy cicada! And even better... <laughs> it emerges from a cocoon. 
Look at this. Look at how magnificent this thing is. I love it so much. It's got nice little colorations and then if you're feeling real froggy you can stash stuff in here or put polyfill or something and have a secondary friend. <laughs> um, it was a pre bleh, a pre-order from DFTBA and um, the artist's name is Tyler. I'm going to check so I get it correct. I follow him on Instagram. Um, uh, Tyler Thrasher. Um, and he's an artist that, um, well, he's a plant person too, but he's an artist that, uh, grows crystal, crystals, crystals, I can't talk, who grows crystals on insects, like, Lab grows them himself and the entire thing, and they're really beautiful and a really interesting art, art series he does. But yes, this is his fault. It's a good thing to be somebody's fault, I think. I love when artists make plushies and they make uh, Turo decks and, you know, things that are, are not the usual things that artists make. Um, because I find it to be such an interesting way to collect their art. For those of you who are new here and do not know this, I'm a big proponent of the democratization of art. That art should be equitably available to everyone in some way. And that often means that there is some sort of mass-produced variation of it, whether it be prints or stickers or t-shirts or plushies or tarot decks. So that's why a basically everything I make is not behind a paywall. I mean, in the capitalist hellscape, I'm screwing myself, but I'm following my ideals, so one day I will figure out how to balance the two. Alright, I'm gonna go do things. I'm, I'm gonna go. Go do some art yourself. Hello, Ariel. Are you just gonna ignore me? No paparazzi? Okay. I love you. Ooh, that's a question. Do I still introduce myself as Trey? I don't know. What is I have not considered this yet. I think the hike's a little bit better now. Hello, hi, it's me, Tree. Though I'm I'm working with Enoch and Sparrow at the, and Glitch at the moment, so this is a, but otherwise, hello, it's me, it's, hello, hi, it's me, Tree. Um, have art box, art box, art snackies, art snacks box. I, this is going real good already, isn't it? Um, Hopefully, I will actually manage to do a demo of this stuff in, like, November, which I, as, as of today, which is the 2nd of December, I have not even edited November's vlog. So, it, November was a lot. Let's crack this baby open with my questionable ability to cut today, evidently. There we go. It's going to be one of those days. Which is unfortunate because it's a bow's day, so it should be good, but... Nope. 
things in the box. Um, I have no, I think it's a sketchbook, I'm not sure. Let's crack this thing open and look. It's the strata for the month. Um, so it's called the zigzag book. back on there. See? And it's A6 and it's 18 pages of uh, 140 pound paper, 300 uh, GSM. So, and it looks like it does something very interesting. I mean, the, the way it keeps itself closed is really interesting for starters. And the texture of the board is really nice. But it's an accordion book, hence why it's a zigzag. But it's an accordion book. So that's exciting. Uh, what else we got going on? Into the bag. That is our menu. We have some Copic lining pens, which are always good. Multi lining. Um, they range from 0 0.03 to 3. So good size range. Copics, um, multi-liner Copics are waterproof, so they're good for mixed media application. Uh, the snack this month is a Swedish Swedish fish, Swedish fish. Ooh ooh ooh! Is there a tiny little one? I think they sent a tiny little zigzag too. Open, open, I want to break you open. Come on. I am smarter than this. There we go. It's so tiny. So tiny and cute. Opens the same way. It's a tiny accordion. Now, I have a background in bookmaking, so th th this is excitement from a bookmaker, excuse me, book nerd perspective. <laughs> and Ariel is having a yelly day. And now into the tissue paper of doom. Can we get the sticker off without ripping it? Hello, Bean. I hear your song. Just about. Very close. Oh, chunky things. Chunks. Oh, the sticker's very cute this month. It has, like, little hipster bears and stuff on it and Christmas trees. Um, well, you hang out a big old chunky acrylic marker. Um, in, I'm guessing that blue is chunky, is chonk. <laughs> a tickled Ariel. We have a double-ended black pen of some sort. You got and a couple of Tombow markers in brown and orange. And they're they are double ended. Uh this end is brush, this end is bullet. Alright. Where did the menu go in all of this? Hello. I hold your paws. Hi. <laughs> um, alrighty, so. Uh, 
Uh, the zigzag books are from uh, Hannah Mueller. I, my German is not so great, but that looks like how you'd pronounce it. It has an umlaut over the U. And a Mueller. That's what I was doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gnome speaks, does better with German than I do. Um, but yes, the, the zigzag book, um, the Copic multiliners, uh, the Tombow are uh, water based, like all Tombow markers are, so. I end up using them like, um, like watercolors. Uh, the big old chunky marker is an Edding 5000. Lightfast water based acrylic paint. And the, oh, the black marker is a Tambo Mono twin marker. And it is an oil-based ink, so that it is smear-proof. That doesn't mean that it's waterproof. I would say that it is, but we'll have to find out. So, basically, stuff that I will actually really use. Um, yay. The, the zigzags would be really good for, like, doing a big jur art journal spread in. Um, okay. So, I'm going to do a demo here in the next couple days. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Um, and I will see you then. Courage. Hi, it's me, Tree. Uh, I am not apparently going to get around to doing the demo for Art Snacks this month. Uh, and, and also, I just like having a really rough month. Hello, Bean. Oh, she's so small. Hi. You know, trigger warning for mental health stuff. It's like my behavioralist like has changed my 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 spicy sad dose on me twice, and it's really messing with me. It's like I I was having insomnia until I moved around when I was taking things, and if possible, I am even more tired than I've been being, which is a something I didn't think I could experience it's very much a you know I, I would like a dirt nap for a while just like take a break and sleep in cool loamy earth in the mud so yeah I'm having lots of trouble and it's like I don't know if the the drugs are interacting if the spicy sads are in interacting badly with like my preventive migraine meds or what because I have had like a low-key migraine all month. It has been so bad. So yeah, that's a, a thing get to talk to the behavioralist about on Friday when I see her. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I have else to say. This is just how things are being right now. It's terrible. Alright. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna go. I, I may have more to record later. So, in case I do not get back to this, this is outro Enoch saying, do good, be kind, be brave, and courage.